we don't, like, outside of the class, and we really don't know much else about him. I'm, I'm kind of scared to th imagine what he might actually do there. Because other- okay. Alright, here we go. What's the bomb show about to be? strike noon in Heimdall, with the Chancellor set to take the stage for his national address. With the situation in Crossbell and the destruction of Gorelia Fortress still fresh in the national consciousness, the message he has today will undoubtedly shape the future of Erebonia and with it, our lives. Our reporter is joining us now, live from Dreykel's Plaza. Sounds like he's about to start. Mm. <laughs> that gulp sound. Oh my god. I hate this. I've got butterflies in my stomach. This is Misty, coming to you live from Heimdall. There's Misty. Huh? Why is Misty... Oh, it's the host from Aventine. At least that's a reassuring voice to hear at a time like this. How? Emma? What's wrong? Huh? The, the woman talking on the radio, she's... You all know her? Who, Misty? Of course. <laughs> Wait. She hosts the radio show Aubin Time every Sunday night at 9. I've seen her out and about in Trista, too. She always looks so fashionable. This? Oh. That convenient point in time looking back when we took Emma on the Orbal bike. Although I reloaded that one. Emma was conveniently... Or, uh, Emma conveniently ran off to look for that bird, so she actually doesn't hasn't actually seen or heard Misty. She's the only one that legitimately doesn't know. Uh, uh -uh. Though considering Aubin Time is broadcast by Radio Trista, it makes sense that's where she'd be. Huh? Do you know her or something? The Chancellor's standing at the podium, and it looks like he's about ready to begin. Let's hear what he has to say. Citizens of Heimdall, fellow countrymen, Erebonians far and wide, I thank you for your attention. I am Gilead Osborne, your Chancellor and the acting representative of the Imperial Government. We stand today in the face of an uncertain future. All of you, I'm sure, are aware of what has transpired in recent weeks. Crossbell, our erstwhile province, has defiantly declared its independence and, as its parting shot, frozen the assets entrusted to them by the hard-working men and women of Erebonia. As we have moved to safeguard our national interests, armed conflicts have broken out on our borders. Our enemies point to this as an example of Erebonian aggression, but nothing could be further from the truth. My ass, come on. We acted in accordance with our duties as a colonial power. All we have done, we have done as is our sovereign right. The Imperial Hand may be firm, but it is fair. These traitors, however, have shown the world that they are neither. Traitors? With an unknown weapon of mass destruction, they have annihilated Gorelia Fortress, the stronghold that has long protected the very gates of this country. Oh, I boy, ask you, brothers and sisters of the Empire, do we allow such an odious act to go unpunished? Do we sit idle? as the pride and dignity of our great nation is spat upon and trampled underfoot. We cannot. We must not. And we will not. With blood and with iron, we shall meet out justice. Wow. 
Listen to him go. Oh, he's quite the orator, that's for sure. <laughs> well, he's certainly not out to upend my expectations. Milliam? What are you doing? Hmm. Nope, can't get through. No surprise there, I guess. Uh, who are you trying to call? What is all this about? Oh, it's part of my mission. The most important part, actually. If only I'd caught on a little sooner. But considering he managed to outwit Claire, Lecter, and even Gramps. Claire, Lecter, and even... Uh... I suppose Crows earned this victory. Yeah, yeah? Oh, boy. What? What does Crow have to do with this? Huh. So that's your angle. You came because you had a potential lead on C, and you oh. couldn't look into it from the outside. Is that it? Motherfucker! What? As in the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front? But he's dead, isn't he? The Intelligence Division looked at all of C's actions so far and drew up a list of potential suspects. And one possibility we couldn't dismiss was that he had ties to this academy somehow. But after C and his cronies got blown up aboard their airship in the mine, we thought it was a moot point. Looks like we spoke too soon, though. Oh, I can't believe how bad we screwed this up. Uh, are you seriously suggesting that it's Crow? That it's been him all along? What do you think C stands for? Even I've been playing. Crow was with us in the mine right up until he went with the miners to escort them back to the surface, right? Yeah, and then his route back ended up blocked off by a cave-in, so he wasn't able to reach us until later. B but what if he actually used another route to get there ahead of us? Then fought us wearing that masked helmet and cape. Before making it look like he boarded the airship, then sneaking back around to join the others like nothing happened. Madness. No one would stake their entire plan on such a precarious stunt. Perhaps we can read the evidence that way, but there are a few leaps in logic that bother me. Besides, remember when the terrorists escaped from Gorelia Fortress? We heard C talking to us, and not just then. He was addressing us just before the airship exploded in the mine, too. That's true, both counts. And Crow was with us the whole time during everything that went down in Gorelia. He never left our sight. Right. No mistaking it. My name is C. There is all fucking cool. Leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, there's no way he could be. He could have recorded a message in advance and played it back. Oh. And the airship that exploded? It could have been controlled remotely. His alibi seems airtight. But once you account for things like that, it starts looking pretty questionable. Yep. And if C's still alive, that means the other ringleaders probably are too. Then right now, Crow is... Oh no. He said he was headed to Draco's Plaza, didn't he? If a skilled sniper has their eye on you, you let your guard down for even a second and bang. If he's the one who shot down the airship in the mine... Then it's checkmate for the Chancellor. Crow's already won. We stand at the brink of nothing less than a national crisis. In such tumultuous times, we must set aside our differences. We must look past the ideologies that divide us. I will not deny the rift that has grown between the reformist and noble factions, especially in recent times. But how childish, how insignificant such squabbles seem when the enemy marshals its strength beyond our borders. I have met with His Majesty the Emperor and have secured permission to embark on the course we now must. Thus, in the name of the Emperor, and as the representative of the Imperial Government, I hereby proclaim... Motherfucker. 
that the Empire's full military might shall be gathered together from all branches and divisions to deliver unto Cosmel a swift response to their impudence and to form a bulwark against the threat from the East. Go finish your speech in hell. anticlimactic and there's our coup de gras now just have to add the finishing touches hands in the air oh damn headshot god damn it really was you all along to think all the time we spent searching for the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, and he was right under our noses. Crow Armbrust from the Jirai Sez. The Jirai Se. Oh. Oh. And here I thought I'd managed to cover my tracks like a real pro. So, who put all the pieces together? I bet it was Arundel, wasn't it? We just received confirmation a short while ago. If you hadn't been so difficult to pin down, we would have had this investigation finished up already. How could you? How could you? You know, this really brings back the memories. It's a lot like when Jirai was annexed by the Empire eight years ago. You let your guard down, you lose. That's how your boss's favorite little game works, isn't it? Well, he lost. And now, he won't be playing any of his games again. Ever. Y you Get on the ground! I don't know how you managed to plan all of this, but you'll tell us eventually. I'll see to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. What? Festival. Well, wait, what's she talking about? Oh, shit. Was, was she speaking directly to us just now? Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting. Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world. What the shit? Isn't that the plaza in Heimdall? This is one of the Azure Abysses incantations. Phantasmagoria! Azure Abysses? Yeah, the, the layering on, on this projection, though.
250 large class aerial battleship. Noble Alliance Forces flagship Contagu. Things are just playing a game of armored core, holy shit. What is that thing? I know, but it ain't one of ours. It's time to avenge His Excellency. Yeah, I, you know, something tells me that's not gonna happen. Fire! <laughs> Where did it? Where did it go? What are those things? Humanoid combat armors, courtesy of Reinford's 5th Development Division, staunch supporters of the Noble Alliance. Thank you, Irina, for the accounting system. Knights for the modern age, modeled after a stunning historical example and made of hardened steel from toe to crown. We call them the Panzer Soldats. But how did... Don't move! Sorry, I don't take orders from you. Zephyr should be able to secure Valflame Palace just fine on their own. Zephyr? But I've got my own score to settle. No! What? <laughs> See ya, Icy Maiden. Oh. How did I even get there without making any noise? Down, huh? I'll give him an A for effort, but we're talking about the Imperial capital here. Is that the best they could muster on their home turf? The hard part's still ahead. All oh, right, these guys, the bodyguards for the for, for the Duke. Most of the Imperial army's putting out fires across the country, but they'll be back soon enough. Now. And who knows? They might have some anti-soldats counter. Up their sleeves. <laughs> hey, anything can happen. Guess the ones to watch out for are the third, fourth, and seventh armored divisions, huh? I wonder whose side our little princess will take. That's for Fee to decide. The boss wanted. Oh.
Oh, come on, at least give us the vocals for her singing. Uh, what exactly is it doing spreading all this around? Splendidly done, Grianos. I see you were able to share the sweetest notes of my aria with our little friends. Huh. Matilde of the Abyss. Ah, uh, hey, Blue I Blanc. find myself reminded afresh of the brilliance with which you shine as the second Anguis. Ah, uh, also, I've been pronouncing that wrong this whole time. <laughs> Lady Vida Clotilde. Second Anguis. Vast is the stage, and beauty is the performance of the Azure Abyss. <laughs> That's quite the compliment, considering your standards on beauty. Still, first the Burl. Then Crossbell, and now here in Erebonia. Don't you think you're getting a little too greedy for your own good? Oh, your chastisement cuts deep. We'll be proceeding with the next step of the Phantasmal Blaze plan, I presume. There we go. About time they've dropped the name on this plan, oh my god. Hmm, yes indeed. The bells are tolling for Crossbell, and preparations here are complete. Still... Even this grand an undertaking is but a jewel in a greater crown. The second stage of the Orpheus final plan. Orpheus final plan? What the fuck? The symphony awaits us. Let the second movement commence. Bro, what the fuck? Is this really happening? It is. I'm certain of it. Phantasmagoria is an arcane art known to the Witch of the Abyss, capable of showing scenes and visions across great distances. The woman you know as Misty is... something of a sister of mine. A sister? Wait, the Witch of the Abyss? Are you saying that's who Misty really is? I feel like any moment I'm going to wake up in my bed to find I just dreamt all this. If only it was. But we have no choice but to accept that it's real. Well, we'll have plenty of time to worry about that later. Right now, we've got two more pressing concerns. The Chancellor's been shot, and Heimdall's been occupied. Oh, no. <sighs> I hope my father's all right. Damn. Please, let St. Astraea be safe. That gargantuan airship, those Panzer soldats. I have no doubts that they were bankrolled and manufactured by the noble faction. I saw them there. My old family. All this time, I never knew what happened to them. Now, there they are. Oh, yeah, wait. V never went to the Grand, so she didn't. V. Oh. So you know those men? I remember meeting them briefly in the Grand. They're former members of Zephyr. Used to be one of the continent's strongest Jaeger Corps. It looks like the noble faction hired them to do their dirty work. Just like the Imperial Liberation Front. On top of that... It looks like our guess about C's identity was right on the money. But I don't know what that cool blue thing was he flew off in. Crow, why did you do it? On behalf of the Student Council, I'd like to ask all of you to remain calm. I'm sure you all experienced that strange vision during the broadcast. And the principal has an announcement he'd like to make about it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Principal Van Dyke speaking. I'm sorry to say there's a strong likelihood that what you just saw is really happening in Heimdall. However, it's important to note that we don't yet have confirmation or any official word on the situation. I'm doing all I can to find out what's going on. But in the meantime, I ask for your patience and understanding. So all the other classes saw it too. How could she use a national radio broadcast to show something to just us and no one else? Is that even possible? For her, it is. With little difficulty at that. Yo, Sarah here. Who's Nightheart? An emergency meeting. Right away? What? Of course, I'll be right there. Yeah, understood. I'll meet you in front of the main gate. All right, class. 
I've got to step out for a bit to take care of some business. But no matter what happens, you are not to leave this building. Is that clear? Instructor! Don't worry about me. When I tell someone, I'll drink with them. That's a promise I intend to keep. Yeah, we're gonna get the drink in Cold Steel too. I... Be safe out there. <laughs> of course. I'll leave things here <laughs> in your capable hands then. Will do. Probably whatever we'll have to go through in Cold Steel is like two to four. We re probably deserves a couple of drinks, huh? God damn though. Played by Crow What's and on? Vita Clotilde. I'm not sure, but it's obvious something strange is happening. Can this day even get stranger than it already is? Elliot? Not now. What's wrong, guys? I had no idea those windows could open like that. They hear something to the west, and it's getting closer. Several armored cars are approaching, and it sounds like they have some of those armored suits with them. Uh, you've got to be kidding. First Heimdall, now Trista? Are they planning on taking over the academy? Because where do they think the other uh, mecha thing or whatever it's called is? Hmm. Sure looks that way. Notable members from both factions have kids enrolled here, and there are plenty of important people like the principal. So either they're looking to preemptively protect their own or take the others hostage. Could be either, even both. This is absurd. Whatever their intentions, we can't allow them to harm innocent people. Do you think that's where the instructors went? To try and fight them off? Those giant armors tore through the army's tanks like they were nothing more than toys. Our instructors are strong, but with what they're up against, I'm worried they might not be enough. I'm not sure how much help we'd be or if we'll even be able to put a dent in them. But right now, they need all the support they can get. They oh need class God. seven. I'm with you. You have my sword. I didn't really wake up today planning to fight enemies that can gut a tank. None of us did. But this battle came to us, so we'll draw the line here. I'll do everything I can to defend this school and its students. Duh. I take no issue with humbling those that befoul the spirit of true nobility. Guess I'll help too. <laughs> I wonder how Lamy will match up against those giants. We haven't got a lot of time, so let's move out. All right, let's do this. Elisa, why are you all so flustered? What's going on? Ferris, you're still here? What in Adios's name is going on here? Oh, Patrick, you're fighting with us. I saw the instructors leaving the academy through the front gate. Oh, they already left? Patrick, you have to stay here. You can't let them take over this building. Work with the other students as best you can. What, what do you mean, take over this building? He doesn't know it, does Schwarzer? Wh what are they? <gasps> what in Adios' name is going on? I... I heard a war started in Heimdall. Don't worry, everyone. You'll be safe here. We'll show you to the auditorium. You can bunker down there. Toa! George! Green! What are you doing here? You aren't... You're not planning on going to help the instructors, are you? That's exactly what we're planning. I'd bring shame to the Arsade name if I were to willingly allow such insolence and dishonor to fester. We're not going to push our luck, but we want to give them every little bit of support we can. You can't be serious. If that video's anything to go by, you'd be going up against some seriously dangerous weapons. The chances of you overcoming a force like that is... Well, I don't even want to say. Are you really sure this is what you want to do? We are. This academy has given us a lot. We've made friends here, learned to better ourselves. And we'll be damned if we're going to let them just take that away. That's not moving. You guys. Oh boy. The instructors told me not to let you past if you tried to come through here. All right. As student council president, I hereby grant you permission to head through. But don't forget, you're still students. This may be a military academy, but that doesn't mean you're soldiers. If you ever feel like your lives are in danger, even a little bit, you get out of there, okay? Run away, surrender. I, I don't care what you 
you do, just please, please don't die out there. Promise me. Of course. We promise. At least make sure you've got everything you need before you go, then. I've got my tools on me, so if you guys need any last-minute modifications to your Arcus units, I'll take care of it. Bro, oh my god. We're doing this, aren't we? Oh, and I'm, the cross still showed here, man. What the fuck? That, oh my god. Didn't we get a... Oh, right, right, hold on. The Medal of Dawn. Oh, fuck it, I'm giving this to Rain. <laughs> oh, I guess it would be better on... Uh... Let's not waste too much time doing this. You're great playing FGO this whole time while watching your batteries at 20%. Uh, it seems the fight's already started or started on the outskirts of town. We might not be able to beat them but, um, beat them back on our own, but we can help the instructors do it at least. Let's go. Five hours until they fix different coins. As a daughter of the House of Erisay, I have no intention of letting this atrocious raid on Trista go unpunished. This is our only chance to take them head on. Let's hurry. I'm not entirely sure how, we, how we'll be able to stand up to those new weapons, but this isn't the time to be sizing up our chances. The instructors have already left, and we need to hurry if we intend to back them up. Selene. Selene doesn't seem too happy about all this either. Oh, no, it's nothing. Let's be sure we have everything but everything we need before heading out. Right. Actually, how far can we wander? Uh oh, can we, like, really wander all the way out? Oh my god. Oh, okay, you know what? Let, let me skim real quick. What, what, what was that footage just now? You both saw it, right? That can't actually be happening, can it? Misty was kind of weird, too. Like, she wasn't even herself. But maybe I'm just imagining things. Oh, oh, monk. Okay, hold on. Last things of dialogue, let me get them out of the way. What are you doing here? Now we broadcast got us nervous, so when we, uh, so we came to check on the horses. When we arrived, things were going crazy. What's wrong with Comb? Get a hold of yourself. It seems they're panicking because they sense the impending danger. Lambert, we're in the middle of an emergency. We must ask you to return to the main building at once. Oh, we can't just leave the horses here? The horses are in no danger, but I cannot say the same for us. Please, you need to get to safety. Use this. Very well. Paula, bring the horses inside. Be gentle with them. 
<laughs> right. Hey, I don't get, ex exactly get what's going on, but it looks like you're ready to head out somewhere. Don't do something stupid and get yourself hurt. There's no need to worry about me. I don't know what's, I don't know what's happening, but it seems really bad. Don't get too reckless out there, you hear? Huh, spare me your concern. I don't intend to mere, let mere militants get the better of me. Uh, I shall evacuate uh, evacuate uh, once all the horses have been uh, safely guided back to the staple, uh, stables. You be careful as well, Eustace. I'll be fine. Leave the instructors to us. Uh, oh my god. Okay, can we go in here? Yeah, it's locked. I wonder, like, how much of the academy can you still explore? You're planning on aiding the instructors, aren't you? Please stay safe. I can bet see better see you or your friends hurt. Got it. You should join the others at the main building. It's too dangerous here. Don't worry, I will soon. I'll leave my fee in your hands. Please keep her safe. Of course. That's odd. Fish have all scattered for some reason. Do they sense something? Something's up with the fish. I wonder if there's a, a natural disaster incoming or something. Well, there's a disaster coming. It ain't natural though. Actually, could we go to the old schoolhouse? Wait, hold on a second. I know it's really serious right now, but... Oh my god. Oh, actually, wait, I'm curious. Wait a second, we can still... I'm surprised we can still go all the way down here. Damn it! I was kind of hoping something would happen here. <laughs> but if anything, they've come here to seize this. To further cement their power uh, in Erebonia, given this, given this attack on the Empire. But yeah, it's also kind of nice that they let you grind up a little bit before... Oh, they still let you grind up before heading out for the actual final battle, I guess. I'm going to imagine this is going to be... Kind of tough, isn't it? There you go. No one over here? Yep. Wow. Uh, I know I'm delaying this, delaying this lot, but I really want to see what everyone has to say. I saw Toa and George running in, uh, running by in real panic earlier. Whatever's going on right now, I got the feeling it's real bad. If you're heading out there, you better make sure you're ready for anything. I don't know what's going on, but it definitely doesn't seem good. If you're heading out there, oh wait, no, it's the same line. Did, did you see that? What should we do? C calm down. We should return to our classrooms before anything else happens. I don't know what's going on, but I can tell what's bad. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I'll do whatever I can to help. The instructors were just telling everyone to stay on campus. What in place is going on here? Oh, what was that strange moving image that we saw during the radio broadcast? Wait, Crow's info got updated in the notebook? Oh, yeah. Crow's true identity is the Imperial Liberation Front's leader, C. Um... Uh, Emma, well, what was that footage just now? Hold on, why do you have your oval staff with you? Don't tell me you're planning on going out there. I'm sorry, Dorothy, but as a part of Class 7, this isn't something I can sit back and watch. Or rather, this is something I personally need to see through to the end. Uh, Emma, I don't know what you have to do, but just remember that you have friends waiting for you back here. And besides, I, I start to convert you to the joys of boys' love. It's a mo oh my god. So no matter what, d don't let this be the last time I see you, got it? <laughs> don't worry, I promise that we'll all make it back safe and sound. That's a relief. In that case, I'll gather some, gather up some of my favorite books and uh, read until you make it back. I'm looking forward to when we'll be able to read and relax here again. At this point, I think of Emma as a good friend. 
I'll be waiting here with a collection of highly recommended books for you to read. You better come back. I will. Aww. You know, I should just check the uh, barrel. It feels as though we're looking out at the dawn of something significant. A grand destiny stretches out before us. Please, do be careful. Wait, do I have a... Nah, uh, uh, I'm missing two Zimmerian ore shards. The other two being the accessory shards. <sighs> yeah, we can still go in the main buildings as well. Holy shit. I, I still can't believe this is real. I've been told to evacuate to the main building, so I'm making sure. Er, so I'm just making sure everything's locked up here. Take care, everyone. Don't do anything you might regret. Well, about that part. No, I, I wouldn't imagine it was on the upper floor. You think there are any students who might get caught outside? Then tell the second news to seal off the entrances to the first floor. Make sure to inform the Trista citizens in the auditorium that they must absolutely not set foot outside. Yes, sir. Of, co er, of course. I won't let any of or I won't let them lay a finger on anyone as long as I stand. The academy is under our care. You do what you must. My family uh, seems to have evacuated safely from Trista. Oh, Aeneas, thank you so much. We can take care of things here. May the goddess be with you. You better not get killed out there. Oh boy, they have they they have their swords ready. We won't let anyone through. Just leave the academy to us. Don't worry. Leave the main building to me. I won't let a soul pass me, no matter who they are. Then there's no way we can we can let the instructors take on this whole mess on their own. Teresia, help me gather up some of the fencing club and we'll meet at the main entrance. <laughs> Understood. I believe it's time we show them what we're made of. Oh, they can climb. Don't forget that this is a military academy. We'll be able to take care of ourselves. More importantly, make sure that you're completely prepared before setting foot outside. We want you to go out to fight in peak condition, but more importantly, we want you back here safely, understood? Of course. I'll make sure that every last every last one of us makes it uh makes it back. Good luck out here too. Or here too. So you you're heading out to give the instructors a hand, huh? That's the stuff. Show those jerks what this school's made of, especially you, Elisa. Give them a lacrosse, uh, a lacrosse club beatdown. Roger, you two be careful. Everyone's, everyone's really in a panic. Can't say I blame them, though. Either way, we'll get things sorted out here. Don't sweat it. Just make sure you all make it back in one piece, okay? Right. I think they're forgetting who they're dealing with. Underestimate cadets and you might just get hurt. Let's show them what we're made of. And make sure you all come back alive. Leave what's happening outside to our instructors. Our job is to take care of things in here. Follow the vice principal's directions and guide the evacuees into the auditorium. Don't forget to round up any of the first years who ended up outside the building. Got it. I still can't believe the instructors uh, ran out to take those things on. You guys better help them out. Oh boy. I evacuated in accordance with the in instructor's orders. I haven't been able to find Sharon anywhere. Oh boy. But she should have made it here by now. Come to think of it, we haven't seen her either. You know this is Sharon we're talking about, right? I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I I will go search her campus for her myself. No time Sharon wasn't able to get out in time. I, I'll go search for her myself. Uh, oh, Beatrix is gone. Oh no, because uh, instructors went out. Most of them. Trista was under attack and Uncle Mokrov just disappeared somewhere. Oh! I mean, Mokrov is an old engineer and stuff. Well, what should we do? What should we do? Please calm down, Mint. I'm sure the Beatrix and I have already uh, have been told to ready the infirmary. You know you're worried about him. I know you're worried about him. I'm worried about him too. But we can't let that shake us. We can help him by staying focused on doing whatever we can uh, than by panicking. You're right. 
Uncle Mokrov isn't too active, so he's probably lying hurt around somewhere. Let me help with the infirmary, too. Please be careful out there, Elliot. That goes for the rest of you, too. We're, pre we're preparing the infirmary to treat injuries as swiftly as possible. Please, promise me that you all return safely. I can't stop worrying about Uncle Mokrov and the other instructors. But for now, I need to focus on things I can actually control. I'll help Instructor Mary get the infirmary ready, but I don't want to see any of you in there. Be careful. Oh my god, there's so many people to talk through. We'll get through this. You head inside, Bridget. Don't worry, I'll do whatever it takes to keep you safe. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be counting on it. Believe it or not, I'm not as weak as I used to be. Don't worry, I'll take care of you no matter what. I believe in you, Alan. But I don't want you to be hurt. Please, try to be careful. I can't believe it, Raleigh attacked Trista. Oswald's speech had such a weird ending, too. Everything's so out of control. I saw most of the instructors leaving a little while ago. Is Trista really under attack? Don't tell me you're planning on taking them on. That's way too reckless. You don't have to do this. I'm pretty sure we'll get, like, extra lines of lore if we actually had her in the party. Yeah. Trista's being invaded? Then what should we do? We gotta get out of here. Vivi, snap out of it! Oh. Oh, Vivi's the one panicking this time. We need to take shelter in the classroom until we know what's going on. Running scared uh, will just get you hurt or worse. Oh, okay, you're right. You always rely on Lynn at times like these. <laughs> She's definitely the oldest sister, alright. Character development. Or not really development, uh, it's just we never see this side of her. I'll keep Vivi safe, no matter what. But while I'm doing that, you all need to go support the instructors. Whatever could be going on. Ferris, dear sister, we must flee the safety at once. Vincent, compose yourself. The Academy is currently the safest place we could be. Following your orders may be the best option in this situation. However, our classes are still in the midst of an unfinished competition. You all must make it back safely. Right. Thanks, Ferris. You must promise me. I I cannot find Sarifa anywhere. She was by my side a moment ago, but where could she have disappeared to? Dude. Sarifa and, and Celestin are gonna be out fighting too. Oh my god. Yo. Let's fucking go. What's going on? What should we do? All the instructors are gone too. I know, I'll find Klein. I don't know what to do. If those invaders try to mess with me, they'll be in for a nasty surprise. We have frying pans, knives, and all sorts of... Uh, other deadly cooking equipment here. The perfect tools to defend yourself with, uh, if you ask me. Inconspicuous, but dangerous. Oh, I can't imagine a single place with better tools for self-defense. Teapots are lethal projectiles. <laughs> I see you plan on going to the thick of it with the rest of Class 7 million. As a member of the cooking club, you have to make sure you have enough food to keep you going. Don't worry, got it covered. But you make sure you run out, or you run, uh, you run for it if things get uh, dangerous over here. Will do. We'll be sure to evacuate with Margarita should worse come to worse. But don't worry about us. Just stay focused on doing what you have to. You betcha. Why spend to a hybrid instructor me to check up on our emergency rations? As a military academy, we need to be prepared for any contingency. So don't worry about us. Just stay focused on doing what you have to. Clara still- is Clara still working? She's not. Something big is coming. No shit! Students are looking out too. Here, how come those guys that attacked the capital are here already? That was way too fast. Chances are they planned this in advance. W what? Just that Osborne is shooting, the appearance of that huge battleship, and those new weapons. Every individual aspect would have been planned out well in advance. So, for all three to have happened, well, it's likely that all of this, including the attack on Trista, has been in the works for several years now. I cannot believe this. I can't believe it's even happening anymore. This isn't a dream, right? Oh, oh running uh, all the way here from Kirsch is a bit of a, a fine way to wipe yourself out. But now's not really the time to complain about being winded, though. This, if this is a dream, you don't want to wake up right now. Oh. 
Why, hello, Master Bean, and the rest of Class 7 too. What a pleasure. We were wondering where you two went. We made our way up here just after the broadcast. It would seem that, the, that our current state of affairs has become rather grave, unfortunately. Based on the footage we were shown, that huge battle, that huge ship that appeared in Hymel belongs to the Noble Alliance forces. It's no really to deduce that the force marching on Trista also belongs to them. Patrick. What? Do you expect me to feel guilty? With the conflict between the nobles and reformers the way it is, this, is, this was practically a foregone conclusion. That having been said, the High Arms household uh, kept both Celestin and myself in the dark about this. That humiliation f uh, far outweighs any sense of guilt I may feel. Huh. I know how you feel. But it's likely there was a muzzle, in order to, uh, a muzzle order in place to keep this plan and all things related to it an absolute secret. I was issued an order to return just a few days ago, but I opted to decline. In retrospect, I should have suspected that something was amiss. Huh. Allowing, to, allowing you to remain here likely played into my father's strategy, strategy to keep me uninformed. But two can play that game. You need to worry about the academy. It's safe in our hands. Right now, there's no line between noble and commoner. We're all students of Thor's, equal bearers of the crest of the uh, horned lion. We will do what it takes to protect it. <gasps> you know you won't, Patrick. Thank you. And hands off my system. Now go find Toa and help him defend the main gate. Good luck. Huh, don't do anything foolish. Of course, let us go, Selston. As you wish, Master Patrick. Ah. Oh. oh, there's Sarifa. It seems that battle has already begun on the West Highway. Please, do not concern yourselves with us. It is my duty to keep Master Vincent and Lady Ferris safe. I will fulfill that duty, even if it costs me my- She opened her eyes! This, this is the first time she's ever opened her eyes! Holy shit. I guess those decisions are part of a maid's duty too. A number of steel combatants remain at this academy. We do not concern yourself with us. We shall take it upon ourselves to keep Thor safe. Well, <laughs> these two are gonna get the photos of a, of a century. Of the century, I mean. Looks like they're headed our way now. I don't know who these guys are or what they're, where they're from, but I'm going to be snapping uh, evidence of every single thing they do. So do me a favor and don't get done in while you're out there. Fidelio, back me up here. All right, uh, let's get as many photos as we can. But our lives uh, take priority. We must evacuate if things get too dangerous, understood? Yeah. Rex said that, we're photogra that we photographers can fight in our own way. And he's completely right. Capturing this insanity on film what could help us. Make sure you all stay safe too. May ADOS be with you. Looks like these looks like these jokers don't get that one picture can change your whole world. I'll show them what a real photographer can do. Damn. Also, wait. Uh, I kind of want to switch up my frontline actually. Uh, I mean we're still keeping Milliam. Uh, Emma deserves to be here. Oh, actually, hmm. Oh. I don't wanna I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave Machias, but no, we're gonna be down like so many spell casts if I if I go that uh, combination. Okay, hold on. Uh Although maybe Melee might not be as great here. Unless they have like a ton of extra enemies, but if they're gonna be fighting those things, there's not gonna be too many of them all at once, right? Uh, maybe Marcus for the regen, and uh. I'll take this instead. And in terms of frontline, uh, these two take point. We'll bring Machias in for uh, healing if need be. I know. Oh, I know Fee has 100% evasion, but. Well, actually, maybe I should put Fee on the frontline here instead.
Okay, one last uh, Orbit check. Brave, Angel, Deuce. Okay. Bro, oh, I can't believe it. He was one of those. He was one of the terrorists all this time. Now he's gone and shot the counselor. On top of that, he's launching an offensive against the academy. I'm still coming to grips with it myself. Now that I think back on it, he was always uh, he was always around whenever something major went down, wasn't he? Even as far back as the summer festival in Heimdall when that big terrorist attack happened. I thought something seemed fishy with all that stuff that happened in Ruler. But I guess with the urgency of the situation, I didn't think too hard about it at the time. It still feels like it can't be real. Like this must be some gross mistake. I can hardly believe Crow was one of them. I saw him confess it myself. The two of us first met him on a field study last year. He was easy to get along with, but that was somehow... Or, but there was something about him that felt... Or that seemed a bit... Hollow, somehow. It didn't take long before Angie uh, went up and said it to his face. <laughs> they really didn't get along very well at first. Still, the more feels that as we went out together, the closer we all got. How did it come to this? Toa... But be that as it may, right now the enemy is at our gates. And I don't intend to have let them have their way. We're going to protect this academy, no matter what it takes. And when we find Crow, I want to hear it straight from him. I want to know what he's trying to accomplish by doing this. Really? Okay, do what you can. As Crow's friends, and yours, we're, we're behind you all the way. Thanks. You don't walk out on, onto a battlefield to lose. Uh, make sure you're completely prepared. This will be your last chance to stock up on everything. I know you're worried about Crow, but you can't think about him right now. And I should uh, have two things on your mind. Keeping yourself safe and helping the instructors. Oh, actually, let me check something real quick. I'm missing five enemies? I want you to promise me one thing. Don't throw your lives away, no matter what. I believe in you all, and I know you'll be able to keep everyone safe. We're Crow's friends, but we can't do anything to help, so please, fight for our sake too. There are dangers greater than anything we've uh any for it than anything we faced before uh, just beyond this gate. Are we really ready? Okay, uh maybe I should. Uh oh. Alright, this is gonna be the last chance I can make food. What's like the What's what can give us the most amount of CP real quick? Red hot soda. It was Crow that can make red hot soda! Oh, I don't have too many acidic tomatoes though. Well. Mm, okay. Oh, you know, it's technically. Okay, let's give this a try. How about that? Okay. Uh. Okay, hold on. Because I don't want to go into this fight without any, without any CP. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I know this is like a very dumb thing in ways, but we're at the end of the game already. Oh wait, wait, I could have got fishing. <laughs> 